Hello, my cross stitch friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda May, and this is my channel, Artith Design, where we celebrate counted cross stitch, sustainable stitching, and pugs. Yay! <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, I'm so happy that you came back to spend some time with me today as we talk all about counted cross stitch and making all the things. <laughs> if you are new, I'll introduce this is Loki Apple, and this right here is Luna Moon. They've been absent from several of my videos because it seems that anytime I press play and start recording a video, they decide to be Barky Barkertons out the window. So I'm hoping today I'm filming in a different spot at a different time of the day, and I'm hoping that that will work out. And ooh, so I'm filming today. Today is May 4th, 2021, or as the fans call it, uh, may the 4th be with you. So we're going to be celebrating Star Wars Day in my house. I don't have any Star Wars cross stitch, but we have some other fun goodie stuff to do. Wednesday is Revenge of the Fifth, and then the sixth will be <laughs> This is the May versus This is the Way. So we've got a bunch of little activities planned, and I'm looking forward to it. But on to stitching, yay! Okay, I started a couple projects this week. I had a start and finish, which has been called a SAF, S-A-S, start and finish. Do you wanna be on camera? Here, here you go, let me see if I can move you a little bit more. Here you go, you wanna be on camera? Here you go. I had a start and finish, and then I had another start and then I um, I did go online and order a couple of things so I can start something else for me. So we shall see what will happen. It is hot and humid here in Maryland. So excuse me and plus I get excited talking to you all about my stitching. <laughs> okay, so I have, yeah, my work's in progress. I have a finish to show you. I have some of my yard sale finds that I didn't get a chance to show you last week. And I've got some organizing like tool goodies I wanted to share with you. And I have a matchmaker to do. And matchmaker is a game that I started a couple years ago. And it was quite inadvertent. So you know what, why don't I just show it to you now? All right, so I started the game matchmaker which was if i found a piece that i uh when i was out thrifting or estate sale finds or anything and then i found the matching thing in um a pattern book that i had or owned or saw i call it a matchmaker so with that i wanted to show you this this issue of cross stitch and country crafts it is september october of 1991 they had a series of little smalls, the year in cross stitch. I like the horse here. And they had it in a, several parts, but there's, if you see, there's the quilt, there's the bonnets. Uh, they did the bonnet twice, which I found interesting. And the doves, so, but I liked the horse. And then I was going through some of my stitching stuff in the garage I know uh, <laughs> uh, and I found this piece I'm like oh my gosh I had purchased this piece back when I lived in another town before I moved to where I am now and I had packed it away you know to move and then I never unpacked it so it was in the garage but look at what I found I found this piece so this is my matchmaker piece so uh, here's the quilts and the bonnet and then these pieces here so it looks like those are on different issues. The um, Oh, in the, it looks like November, December 91 issue will be the butterfly. So there's, like I said, it looks like there's like tw 12 different things, but someone, I did not stitch this. <laughs> and I wanna, it's, it is a little bit, I need to get some of the dust and stuff off of it. Uh, but this is my little matchmaker. So this is stitched on a 14 count. It looks like an oatmeal. Ada, like a brownish oatmeal-y color. And it looks like it's DMC and it's two strands of DMC over one Ada square. Isn't that cute? So there's a little matchmaker. And like I said, 
I really like the uh, I really like the horse, so I might I might stitch the horse. Okay, so yeah, works in progress. Oh, this was the other piece that was in the garage. I don't have the matchmaker for this, but I wanted to show you that I had this piece as well. And it is framed and it's got a mat and it's behind glass. It is a 14 count Ada. And unfortunately, with this humidity, I can already see the, there's like steam or where maybe there's not a spacer in between here, the glass and the piece and the humidity got to it. It looks like it was professionally framed. I'm not, so I'm not sure, but so there's another little piece. So there we go. I wanted to get those right out of the way and show you. And again, we'll talk some gadgets and yard sale finds in a little bit, but I wanna show my works in progress. So I'm just pulling in no particular order. I have this basket. It's my like pioneer woman basket that I had in my kitchen, but it just, it, it so nicely holds all my <laughs> projects for the week. So that's what's in here. So let's see where we're gonna start. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start here. This is the secret project I'm working on for my husband. And it is the Ink Circles Badgers from the Dawn of Memes. Badger, 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 and then there's the snake. So I am so close to having this done. I'm so excited. I do need to finish the last little motif here and then put the center the center snake in. I left the snake for last. So I did come around here. So I just have the couple badgers and then that purple flower to add. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I gotta finish that tree. So yeah, uh, not, too, not too long from now, I'll have this done. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna make it, if I'm gonna frame it in a red frame to go in our decor, like where my husband, his, his favorite color is red. And then he loves the University of Wisconsin badgers. So we have a lot of red and badger themed stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna put it in a frame, like a red frame, or if I'm gonna make it on like a little pillow with red around. I, I don't know what to do, but I'll figure it out. So yes, the badger is our unofficial family mascot. I assert it's the pug because they're cute and they snort and they're a little chubby and adorable like all, like, like all of us. <laughs> but then I think, well, sometimes we can be fierce too. So maybe it's, it is the badger. So, <laughs> uh, so that was my first project, my second project. And you know what? I forgot to grab it again. The, the cover sheet to show you here. I'm sorry. Let me see, it is the T is for time. It's the alphabet series by the Prairie Schooler. T is for time. I did a thread conversion and it's mostly like sulky. I did use the 3371, which is DMC, but I just kind of grabbed some sulkies and started working. So this is the one I'm going to do a modification and instead of T is for time, I'm going to do T is for time Lord. For my other passion, which is Dr. Who. <laughs> so here I added, I got the sun in. I do need to go through and do all the back stitching. So all that remains so the sun, the back stitch, and then there's like a floral motif that goes down here. I have to finish the hourglass, and then in here it's all back stitch. T is for time, and then there's a sun and a moon, all back stitch right here. So I'm gonna. There's the hourglass, and then I'm gonna modify it in T is for time, Lord. I'm trying. I got stuck on what color to do my flowers that came comes down here. It's charted for red and green, but as you can see, I changed the colors in the clock. So I wasn't sure if I should do more of a fuchsia flower and then change the green stems to something a little more complimentary. I'm not really sure, but I got the sun in and I'm really happy. This one is making its way 
which I'm really excited about. I've got to iron it and show it to you where it's not so disheveled. But like, what is it, quantum physics when they talk about the folding of space and time and how we can travel through points, you know, the folding of, so we go, so it's wrinkled, you know, I'm folding the fabric of space time. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have is my Lindy Stitches piece. It is the Apart But In My Heart I'm working on. I have a, I did a, a thread conversion to, let me grab it. Uh, the, they're really fun colors. Oh, I got these little scissor thingies and they've been fun to work with. So I have everything here in this little plastic baggie and I've been taking it when we go to the swings, you know, and so I bet I can stitch and everything on the go. So here we go. I'm using all the colors. They're um, the old tattered flag and they're her, I, I purchased her sampler pack and they there's like grungy green, grungy gold, all of that. So I'm just using that. The orange I used is like Autumn Sunset from Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. And then the Valdani here, P2, P as in uh, Papa, the number two, Valdani. And this is the three strand, three ply. Uh, I originally got this for Punch Needle, but I decided to see, because the variegation is so cool, to see if it would make a cool zombie hand, and it does. So my zombie hand, and then I'm working around. So this is the, that scratch thing across. Let me see. So I have the hand here all done. There's the heart. And this is the first scratch here, the underline here. And then I have to do a part and then these things. I'm debating if I'm going to put the whole border in or if I'm just going to do the apart and in my heart and with the hand and then just make it right into a pillow and not do the border. But look at that Valdani. Look at how pretty that variegation looks. Doesn't that look like a cool trippy zombie hand? I don't want to mess with her. <laughs> my kids are so funny. They're like, mommy, why are you stitching zombies? It's, it's, it's spring. And I tried to tell, it takes so long to stitch. You got to start early and often. And they were laughing because I'm working on another project she, uh, <laughs> for, it's a Halloween project and it's got zombie, a zombie hand in it. And you go, you're really into these green hands, mommy. So I, you're going to see that release hopefully in the next month or two. So that's cool, yay! But anyway, a lot of green zombie hands, which I, I think it's fun. I mean, I wouldn't wanna like approach a real zombie in real life, but the, the theoretical, you know, fantasy of them, I, I find intriguing. Okay, the next thing I have is, okay, I have, these are the two projects in here, I have, the work in progress, and then I have the start and finish. Okay, Whew. let me take a drink. I'm very excited about this stuff. I'm gonna take a great drink and then let's get cracking. <laughs> okay. We have my first project is out of the Just Cross Stitch magazine. This is Enjoy Summer. You have all been so lovely and gave me some awesome feedback that I should just go ahead and start stitching it with the one strand. I'm not happy with the with the bulkiness of two strands, so just try the one strand. So I did. I got some of my puffin done here, and that's one strand of black. Yeah, that's one strand of 310. And then the white is one strand of sulky, which is technically the equivalent of one and a half strands. So it does look a little fuller. 
but that's one strand. And so you all were right that doing the one strand, it, it doesn't look diff, it look, doesn't, it's not like a glaring error, or like glaringly weird or anything. So there's my puffin that I worked on and it went so much faster, the stitching, because I wasn't like tugging and really trying to force my needle in and like jamming too many threads. I was forcing it and you shouldn't force cross stitch. It should come like you, it should be joyous and fun and not tedious and upsetting. That's my assertion. So thank you all for your encouragement on that. Okay, my next is out of the new Souvenirs of Summer book. I have been wanting to start this one, the Summer Jubilee, but on a whim, I decided to start stitching this little blackbird. And I had so much fun, I couldn't stop. So the threads that I used are the same kind of threads from the Just Cross Stitch piece, this Enjoy Summer. But then I added some X Jude, like this is her green. I added, what else did I add? Oh, I added this orange. I used this, it's the Friday number six from her Halloween. I use that for the stars and then I just kind of pulled these other colors as I went one of my gadgets I'm gonna show you here in a little bit so that oh, my little thread ID organizer thing so I my working copy of the chart I just cut out the thumbnail of this and put it on the, and I'll sh again I'll show you those in a minute okay I have a little container of all my scrap pieces of fabric that after I've cut from big, my little scraps, I sew around the edges with my, with my little brother. And then I put them all and then I just can grab if I want to do an ornament. So that's what I did. And da, 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 da. I don't know that which fabric this is, but I'm so happy. So here we go. Uh, the bird, I do know, the wings are that, um, the wings are this color from X Jude. It's like Tuesday number three is the wing. And then the, the actual here, the dark part, I did, did I do it in onyx? No, I did it. I did it in black bird. And as you can see, I have like the littlest bit of black bird left. Classic color works. And then the stars. So I, I ended up making a mistake. Well, I made several mistakes. So I ended up adding a few more stars in, a, in this lighter gold color by Color and Cotton, which is Amber Waves. I added a few more of the stars because I made a mistake here and this star should have been stitched up here past the green foliage like up here further but I stitched it down too close so I had to rearrange the greenery which is okay and I ended up adding more of the red color for the the reds here for the the green and for the flowers and stuff. I just felt like I needed a little more of the red berries and things. So that's where I did do some finagling around here, but I think I did a pretty good job. Like I said, there's a few more stars, but it's, I, I enjoyed it. This is a, a 30, it looks like a 28 or a 32 count linen. And I stitched with two strands over two linen threads. The model for this, from this book, they said they stitched it one over one. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly enjoy one over one because I have to use a hoop and I like stitching in hand and not a hoop. Again, personal preference. So for me, I enjoy doing this two over two and it's still small enough to either make into an ornament or I could probably put it in a ready-made four by six frame and it should be fine either way. 
That's my start and finish. Okay, should I leave it out? Oh, you can't see it if I try to leave it out. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I, I went ahead and ordered the floss or what I could find for <laughs> Summer Jubilee, but you know, so many people are celebrating and working on their blackbirds. That stock around the country is getting kind of low, which I understand. So I might have to do some converting. Okay. I have, I worked on another bird. I, this is all birds this week, it feels like. Okay. I worked on Marie La Twinette. This is by Peacock and Fig. She is a Canadian designer. She has a website, all the things. So this is Marie La Twinette. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So I have this part done and then I started really working on the back stitch. And the back stitch is like, holy moly, but it looks so pretty. The back stitch was done with one strand of DMC 844. And I just love the way it looks. So here we go. Can we see? So I added more. I got her, I got her wig totally done. I got her eye put in better. And then I got the back stitching done all down this side. Now I do need to back stitch over here and I need to finish in her necklace. I should finish and do all of that before I move on and add more because I got to get the bird, I got to get her feet and her tail in. Shake your tail feathers. So I got to get all that in. And I love, I love all these flower. I love all of this. So that will be quite an endeavor once I get to that part of the, of the stitching experience. I, I do want to say that Peacock and Fig, she made this. This was a whole collection. There's four birds total, uh, but I chose to do Marie, but there's other ones to do. So just letting you know. Oh, and I have my, my rainbows are out. You all know that my favorite color is rainbow. <laughs> okay. The last project I have is a start. And I wanted to just, here, I'll talk about my goodie gadgets right now. I was tired of using my, oh, I, I don't have enough project bags. And so I was using my Ziploc bags, which there's nothing wrong with that. I just decided I wanted to get a couple more bags. So I just grabbed these bags and then, so I got them in a, like a pack of four, nothing fancy, but I just grabbed a pack of four and then I bought these lanyard thingies. I know a lot of people who work, um, you know, they wear the lanyards with the name tags or with their access badges for whatever. So I grabbed these and what I love about these, they came in a big pack that it has this where it opens and closes. It's got like this zipper, not zipper, but the, it's got the, the seal so I can put stuff in there and then close it up. So if I needed to put like a pack of needles or something small and then close it up, I can do that. So I got the pack and originally I got these to hang off the ends here so that when I put my projects away, I can see what the project is, right? But then I, I started finagling with it and I realized that I like having it on. I got, got a whole pack of these. So it came, I got a pack with the keychain and then with the with the lobster claw, rock lobster. And I made these little ID badge tags on my these wire luggage tags, key ring things. I learned about these from Diana of It Is Kismet Stitches. And so I bought more because I originally had a pack of 36 and then I was like, I, I need more of these. And what's cool is that you can attach more than one together. So if you have a huge big ring of floss, like you can keep adding to it potential. Anyway, I've added two. I haven't added more than two, but there we go. So I, I got those. And so here I, I added the picture 
on the back here. And then I, I put in my fabric that I'm using, which is toasted almond. And then I wrote rooster ride Barbara Anna designs. And cause that's my new start. These are my colors. So these are the gadgets that I use to organize my floss. Again, I could do a second ID tag on the side of the bag with the picture. And what I thought was really cool, and then didn't occur to me until this whole organization thing here, I'll show you what I mean. So I, it's no secret that Barbara Anna is my favorite designer. She sells a lot of her patterns on Creative Poppy. So here's one of the pat, so when I printed out my working copy, so it says Barbara Anna, and then it comes, she puts a little thumbnail, like part of her pattern. So that's what I did here. She had a thumbnail with her floss list, two thumbnails actually. So when I print it out, I just cut out the thumbnail image and then put it right in here. Yeah, baby boo. Okay, uh, I'll be there in just a minute. Can you hold on? Okay, okay. Well, parenting is calling me, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up. So I just, I found this really cool. I'm gonna start adding thumbnail size images for you, so when you buy patterns from me digitally and you print them out, you can just cut out your thumbnail if you're gonna use these little gadgets. So I will make sure I link that in below. It'd be like for my storage and organization. So here we go, on toasted almond, and here is my start. Uh, I don't have the shaky tail feather yet, and instead of chicken with her its head cut off, I got a little person there with without a head. So I'm working on this toasted almond I used uh, this is a, a scrap piece again. The other I use uh, cottage garden samplings. They're the dream with the pumpkin house. She's a designer out of Malaysia, so, one of the, in Southeast Asia. And okay, baby, I'll be right there. Hold on. Um, anyway, this is the piece of fabric that I had. That so I started this, and I I tried to use as many threads as I could. Um, true to Barbara Anna, but I ended up adding a couple other brighter x Design and uh, x Design and Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. So with that, I'm gonna tell you, thank you so much for joining me this week. It has been a pleasure. If you haven't, I would love it if you liked, subscribe to my channel, and then next week, May 11th, I am hosting the free webcast with Sulky for my Americana cross stitch, which I, I hung it up right here, if you can see. And it's gonna be a refresher course for anyone learning about cross stitch for the first time or coming back to cross stitch. But you can order, you can get the exclusive pattern, just the pattern itself. If you, you can order that from them, or if you, let, if you want the whole kit, you can order it too. So all of those links are below. I love you. My love is not conditional. It's unconditional. I'm not asking you to buy anything from me. If you can't, I, I appreciate you no matter what. So I thank you for joining me. I want you to know that you matter, that your stitching matters, and don't let anyone take the joy of stitching away from you. If you have started May stitching, I hope you enjoy it and, you know, st stitch all the things and mwah, take care. Much love.